slurp. Good morning, Dave in Kentucky. I'm going to shoot another video. Uh, today we are going to be uh, using, second time, I used this yesterday so I thought I'd do a video on it. It's the Aggie version 3 final cut. Um, they had a version 1, version 2, then they had a version 3 and it had uh, some sort of issue with uh, alignment blade gap with the uh, base plate and so then they did only had like 22 of those that were made and then uh, they corrected that and here's the final cut uh, it's their uh, copy of the Gibbs razor is it gonna replace my Gibbs no very good shave yesterday so we're gonna do another one today I'll go ahead and load up the same blade from yesterday it's got a crinkle finish on uh, the top of the base plate there show you the pieces nice finish of course I'm sure it's uh, just a Zamac uh, metal or whatever where did I put that blade there it is tried to hide we couldn't we found it all right down there you go I don't know if you can uh, see the gap on it but uh, uh, the gap is adjustable from one through six and beyond there's fully and mine goes all the way around to three again I noticed on Kevy's this went to like three and a half so like nine and a half mine's at nine uh, Glaze Boker, Gus, um, I think his went to uh, two and a half, so I don't know what those variances are, but it looks good. We're using our Knothead, the Kentuckian brush from Tim. Knothead brush works already preloaded. Some vintage Williams onto that, so let me wet my face. coffee this morning. Thank you, Fuzzy. Last of my Cafe Bostello. And let's get to lathering. We have a ton of gorgeous Williams lather for Williams Wednesday. So, I was uh, so happy with the shave yesterday, and I was looking for what they actually called the razor. Upon looking it up, I see what I thought was it was on sale at uh, the wet shaving company down in Australia. I thought it was on sale. Showed it for like $16. Like, wow, I'm going to get a backup one. <clears throat> so I order it. Then my shave of the day, somebody points out, uh, I don't know if that's the same one as yours. I'm like, ah, oh, that's the version 3. And I had like 7 left of the 22 with the issue. I immediately sent a message to them and the information they would need to cancel the order. We're going to put this back up on Let's try five. We had done four yesterday, so got it on five. Anyway, immediately let them know what the uh, information order number. Please cancel. Mistakenly made this order. Now, there's no returns on those, but I was trying to cancel the order, not return it. <clears throat> it was mistaken. It wasn't the same thing. That It wasn't what I thought I was buying. Anyway, course the automated thing we'll get back to you when we're open again yada 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 this morning I get a shipping notification so final dispute with PayPal we'll see if that gets straightened out or I just end up with one of those
wouldn't be the end of the world. Five feels much like four. Doesn't really feel rough. I mean, I can see how some, if they don't have the angle right, would feel like it's a rough shave, but. Feel that comfortable shave. Rinse that off the razor in my face. Get the water off my glasses. And a little more cat paper stello. Again, I like my Gibbs, <clears throat> but happy to have this as well. Not that I need an adjustable where I can uh, change the gap on the fly. I'm a daily shaper. Don't really have a need changing gaps, <clears throat> but. Nice little razor. The price was right, about thirty-three bucks. Shout out to Bruno, Grandpa Bruno. I don't know if you're watching this one or not, but your grandson Rob has told me that you had sent. He said it was a vintage kitchen item, like a. <laughs> potato peeler or something playing around but uh, says he has something that he'll be getting to me eventually from you thank you very much and we'll use that on video for sure <clears throat> if I can get a blade to work and I don't know what it is yet and he said maybe some other items too but Great lather from Williams. Nice timber wolf knot in that uh, brush as well. sometime with uh, 
Oh, setting nine and a half just for the fun of it. Look at those gaps. Look like a chasm. Are really. Only if you have a lot of heavy growth, you've let it go for a long time and you just want to prevent it from clogging. Daily shavers, we don't deal with that. Nice close shave again. Let me get a quick rinse here. And hit it with some Humphreys. So, shout out to Brian also, one of my viewers. Uh, notice new subscribers, appreciate that very much. Uh, appreciate everybody taking their time to share a video with me. A few slurps of coffee. Brian and I were talking about uh, uh, trying to manage our time better, not be on the forums as much. Uh, he ducked out completely. <laughs> anyway, uh, people are over there, Brian. They've got a marmot alert going, looking for you. Asking about you, just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> Hope you're doing well and just taking a break. Let me clean up the brush here. Nice timber wolf knot on that, nice shape to it. Uh, Thank you, Tim, for that. And we'll hit it with some ice blue aqua velva. Wow, what a nice, refreshing scent. Anyway, that's the shave today. Quick rinse on the razor again. And uh, again, I'll show you the gap on this thing that you can uh, run that all the way up to, like I said, for me, it would be nine. And that's monster. We may try it, give it a shot one day. Don't really have a need for it, but hey, science, science, got to check it out, right? Okay, very good. Uh, nice shave, the version three final cut. Um, I think they're sold out. Uh, when I got this from Australia, they were sold out in uh, AliExpress. So I'm sure they'll be getting more uh, available though. So hopefully if you uh, are into adjustables, very inexpensive one to uh, give it a shot. Dave in Kentucky, be safe out there, be kind, and we'll see you on the forum.